This is the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center, where the Shenzhou 16 manned spacecraft is preparing for its historic mission in China's Tiangong Space Station program. What would the Tiangong Space Station look like during this phase? I have here the badge for the Shenzhou 16 mission, which clearly indicates the manned spacecraft will dock with the Tianhe Core module of the station from below. The space station will consist of three modules and three ships. This model represents the Tianhe Core module, equipped with two berthing ports and three docking ports. On the left and right sides, we have the Wentian Lab module and the Mengtian Lab module, while the Tianzhou 6 cargo ship is positioned at the back and the Shenzhou 15 manned spacecraft is located in the front. Just below is the Shenzhou 16 we mentioned earlier. This configuration resembles the in-orbit transition phase between the Shenzhou 14 and Shenzhou 15 on November 30, 2022. This new combination will have the total mass exceeding 100 tons. It's worth mentioning that although the Shenzhou 15 spacecraft will return to Earth after the brief handover with Shenzhou 16, the China Space Station will quickly return to the three module and three ship configuration. And why is that? This brings us to the Tianzhou 5 cargo spacecraft, which we witnessed the launching and docking with the station in November last year, as well as its undocking in early May to leave its port for its successor. Currently, it is flying alongside the China Space Station and it will dock with the station after the return of the Shenzhou 15 spacecraft. These cargo spaceships have more critical tasks than being simple couriers for space cargo. For example, Tianzhou 5 will provide propellants, solar power, and waste storage for the station in the coming months. The three module and three ship configuration will remain in place for nearly half a year until the Shenzhou 17 manned mission. Looking ahead, China Space Station will expand with additional modules. So please stay tuned to China Space Exploration and we'll keep you updated.